the barrel There's a naked man A stupid drunk with a bottle in his hands hey. Along came a brother from another town Took one look and he jumped right down To the bottom of the barrel hey. Bottom of the barrel hey. Where we yeah. always feel What's so up? Welcome back to Bob That yes. intro song though It's way better So much better so much better. Thank you, Eric. Eric Vanier, everyone. Love Hell it. Yeah. Shout out vibes. to Eric Vanier. I've got I, uh, a different setup today because we got, you know, we're doing stuff at the at the office right now. So like, it's just a fucking mess. So I'm set up a bit differently. I do have my breakfast. Is that because you have? Uh, is that because you have all the 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 first merch is out? Is that what you're all messed up in your office for? Yeah, it's just like strewn across the office right now. I mean, this is honestly. This fucking place is getting too small, man. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no complaints shit. We're going to no go complaints. to a bigger place. No complaints. Um, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I, uh, I put some Irish uh, Irish whiskey in my coffee this morning because, uh, well, oh, yeah. I, I just I can't do this podcast without having some sort of beverage. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do I it. I also don't... Oh, shit. I don't have my mic. I mean, I got my mic. I don't have my... Boom! <laughs> hey, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm the mic. You know my big black mic. <laughs> oh, and you guys might be able to hear that beeping. That's uh, it's fucking. We decided shows to test my wreck. fire alarms today. <laughs> I, fuck. Okay. Shows a fucking train wreck. If you listen to this episode, you are truly, truly my favorite person in the world. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because yeah, Chris is mi- missing big black mic, and I. Uh, I don't have uh, my fire alarms going off, so it's going to be weird. I'll try and get right up on this one like it's your mom's clits so we can uh, get right in there, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that's how big they are. Have you ever looked up big clits online? They're gross. No, I've never seen one in real life. Yeah, no, but online. like it's like, There's some, like, it's crazy. I can't yeah. tell if someone's I don't know if they're real. I don't know if they're that's, real, really. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I don't you know, know if they really are. They just put pictures of shit out oh. there, you know? You don't know what's real or not. Yeah, man. Like, apparently, Donald Trump's the president. Don't believe it. Never Don't seen it in person. Either. Never yeah. seen it in person. Earth's Show flat. Me. Clits aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the title of the, today's episode? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, shit. Yeah, we made it. We missed last week. Not making excuses. Life is life at busy times. So, um, we're back, though. Back well, in action. you came over last week. I know, and we were going to do one, and I can't remember what we got sidetracked with. I mean, nice weather. Is oh, yeah, we were in the pool. We were, we were just <laughs> chilling in the pool and getting sunburned all day. We should have just filmed in the pool, just put up the tripod. Would have been the best. Pool episode. Oh, but just because we think it's fun doesn't mean people would, though. Yeah, just all you hear is sloshing around. <laughs> yeah, the worst. <laughs> just oh, like okay. drunken slurs. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's all good. Mm-hmm. I, uh... I, I am happy to report that your pool was worth every dime I didn't spend on it, but I like it very much. Yeah, so. as was the money I spent on it, I think. Yeah, for sure. And you have that, uh, did your fence break last time because of the snow? In the first year I had it, um, the roofers dropped the snow. Like They told them specifically, don't fucking put the snow on the fence, it'll break. They're like, cool. <laughs> Obviously, didn't listen to me, fence no. broke. How to get it replaced. It's a glass fence, right? Yeah, it, but so it's just the same fence, but it won't happen again because you don't have roofers again? Yeah, because we're going to, yeah, okay. we fucking, we assassinated the roofers <laughs> and their families and their dog. I John Wick the shit out of them. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I, I don't have a roof that I pay for, so I don't know. But I, that means I have to put up with things like fire alarms and whatnot, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can see it all. In your tiny apartment? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Like, Wes, if, is, if I Wes knew... has legit like a Japanese tiny apartment. Yeah. It's like it's... his bed comes out of the, the pantry and <laughs> and his fucking, his yeah. bathroom doubles as an office. Like right now he's filming in the shower. It's just a very small place. <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's tiny. If I knew I had to be in here every day for four months, I would have got a bigger one. That's for sure. But yeah. uh, what you going to do? I don't know. And then... Uh, <laughs> Uh, fuck. I don't even know. I've been trying to I'm convince even... Wes to, to move, you know, closer to my place. Up in, up in the, like, a more of an urban area. You know, Wes is, uh, he's just, funny enough, man, because he was, like, raised on a farm, yeah. you know, uh, by cattle. And for some reason, he's a city slicker by his own definition. Um, yeah. But you see that guy in the city and he sticks out like a sore thumb. You're like, no, he's fucking... <laughs> 
grain fed fucking farm bread. I blend right in. Look you at me. Don't, like you I, don't blend in. You try I do. too hard. Wearing pink flamingo shirts does not mean you blend into a city. <laughs> that that is the exact opposite. You look like a guy trying to blend into the city who's never lived in the city and he's like, I'm gonna buy a flamingo shirt. Fit People in. always think I'm an undercover cop. Always. You, you look like a narc from the fucking <laughs> yeah. 80s. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You look no, like I, you, you know what you look like? What's that? You look like um I don't know, man. You look like like what did the fucking, guy in the like a Zoom frat head on on a cruise ship is what you look like right now. <laughs> Buddy in our Zoom meeting the other day said you look like if Dan Balzerian went broke. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We've been having pretty productive meetings. Um, as you guys know, if you tune in, Wes and I, along with Alex and Eric, uh, are working on a TV show that we sold a pilot to. They're even telling us to get ready for season, which is a great, which is great news. Which means they love. The concept, and it just means a lot more work for us. We got to we got to write eight episodes in the next couple weeks. Yeah. So we've been nonstop smashing these meetings every day, one to two meetings a day. It's insanely time consuming. I'm I feel like I'm swamped, and I, I know you're busier than me right now. So this is like yeah, it's a it's, lot. It's a lot. Um, you know, I'm also a producer, so I have other meetings as well during that oh, time. It's so fucking fancy. I mean, oh, and, and what do you do that I don't do? Oh wait, no, I'm West a producer too. I just don't get the, the title. Consistently failing, failing upwards, just okay. nonstop. <laughs> just lucked it, lucked, just fucking stumbled upon, you know, oh, this whole man. thing. My coattails yep. are ripped to shreds at this point. I have nothing yeah. left. I can't well, get some can't new do ones, it. baby. Let's go. Wait till you get that new office going. I'm gonna be up in your grill all the time, <laughs> fucking filming. I'd be like, Chris, yeah, you can't use your space today. I gotta film, so you gotta get out, clear out. Yeah. Using... Next thing you know, there's fucking egg yolk on the walls and fucking <laughs> female panties coming out of a bazooka. So many like, dildos no, everywhere. Yeah. Just, just no reason. Last no. like, I had this idea to <laughs> shoot dildos out of a cannon through your window. <laughs> yeah, well, that's actually. We both know it's not getting any views. Hey, uh, I got 800,000 views on my Fool Us thing. That was pretty That's good. That's actually impressive, man. The fact that you got more than Leclerc when his went on trending. Yeah. That yeah, is a it. testament to the fucking fact that trending doesn't matter, first of all. YouTube trending is yeah. bullshit. He was uh, top for 40 for a whole know, day. Uh, I, I've told you this time and time again. Trending kills your video. It, the, the way that... Okay, I've been on trending probably 20 fucking times, right? Yeah. And every time I've been on trending... That was the peak of the video. From there, it was never spiking. It was always, like, that was the top spike. Oh, and then crazy. it would trickle down. The times that I was not on trending yeah. is when I would hit these massive spikes. So it's almost like trending is a place for videos to die. They're like, all right, we gave you your 15 minutes. Mm. Now go away. That's kind of what it feels like to me. I feel like... Uh, someone like someone like Julie, I mean, because I guess if you were top one, two, three, probably the other way around, because Julie was like... Yeah. <laughs> She went yeah. skyrocketing. Yeah. So, but but for the most part, I think if you're not in that top three slots, then no way. Yeah, high said, high said it was six, yeah. but even then, I think that video was at. I mean, rightfully so. It was like two million after a couple of days. Yeah. But then that video hit up to like thirteen million when it went off trending. You know. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, yeah. see, I wouldn't know. I don't have these problems, so I'm it's not also, spiking to on or off trending. I, um, I also know from an inside source that uh, YouTube trending is curated. Yeah, you know. it's handpicked. Yeah, yeah, it's handpicked. Obviously, yeah. I mean, you know, people are surprised at that, but then you get shit like fucking Logan Paul vlogging, right? Fucking, you know, mutilated dogs or whatever it was, in, yeah. in his in his video, you know, and then they're like, and YouTube gets shit on by advertisers for for putting it on the trending page, so they they, they rightfully have to like handpick. Yeah, what's they can't on their just do. Page. Yeah, yeah, they can't just do whatever's going popular because that could be something totally garbage. But also. The people working there, if they don't like you, you're fucked. Yeah. Luckily, everyone likes me, so I just have to meet these people in person. I mean, not according to trending. <laughs> well, I'll say... Uh, or any Eric other was, part of the algorithm. <laughs> Eric, Eric was pissed, too. He's like, how is your video up more than me? I was on trending. My foolish thing just aired. And I was like, well, I, look on YouTube. Not even half a million people viewed your video. 6.5 million people watched mine. That's a lot of people interested on how, I think. That's true. That might be also, why. I think your title was a little bit better. It was similar. His yeah. said uh, "secret revealed" and yours said no. His said "exposed." Yeah. 
and you mine said, said like full explanation or something. Full explanation, right? So it's like, I think, and the fact, I think the biggest factor here is that your video was like, what, 20 minutes long? Yeah, it was longer. And it was, no joke, it was like a little bit better of an explanation. Eric's was under 10. Yeah, it was eight and something. And he shot it so sexy, but it was under 10 and it wasn't like, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't full explanation. Um, if you, I mean, the more ads you put on a video, I feel to a certain extent, YouTube's going to favor that because they want, yeah, they're they making want to more the money. Ads. Your advertisers yeah. are happy. You know, they want yeah. to keep them happy. They're going to, they're going to suggest a video with three ads on it more than a video with one ads or no ads. Right. So it's all like, they're, they're changing that to eight minutes now. I heard that. Yeah. They're going to bring, actually Eric's want to tell us. That. Yeah. <laughs> Eric These podcasts that. are now going to be <laughs> eight, eight, eight minutes and two seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think I don't know, but knowing how much you like conspiracy theories now, everything you tell me about YouTube, I, I kind of take with a grain of salt. Again, I go like, uh, yeah. yeah, Chris has probably like heard it somewhere. I hey man, know. I actually talked to the guy who does trending. He came up with trending. He's the trending guy. Oh, uh, at the New York YouTube space, he was there giving a talk for a bunch of YouTubers, a bunch of creators, and uh, I, I flat out asked him a question. I was like, is it is uh is it handpicked? The, the trending like, uh... in front of everybody, and he's like, "Well, well, to I mean, to a certain degree, uh, well, uh, and like, it, you so could, yes, you, there's no right way to answer that question. Yes, right. and then if you answer that question with a yes, obviously, that's gonna I piss mean, off a lot of people. Piss off a lot of people, and it becomes political. Yeah, because in today's oh, day and age, whatever anything you're is moderately oh left or right, if that is pushed by the platform. That is a political statement. Yeah. You know, in today's climate. Well, even with our uh, TV show, they're talking about um, talking about having like anything to do with marijuana or anything like that. They're like, yeah. it's not about it being legal or illegal. It's a, it's a more of a political statement at that point. So, you know, certain yeah. things, it's weird. Certain things are political that you don't expect to be. You're yeah. like, oh, yeah, I guess that yeah, kind of makes had, a statement. We had a whole episode based on that because in yeah. Canada, obviously, it's uh, legalized. So, we're, yeah. we're, it's recreational. It's fine. Everybody yeah. kind of does. We don't Nobody even really, think about it anymore. We just like, shit. Like, yeah. that's, isn't that crazy? Like, I mean, yeah. you know, I smoked a lot of weed in high school. And we were always like, you imagine... If weed was legal, like we can go to Amsterdam. Imagine Amsterdam is like a paradise. This fucking paradise in our minds. Amsterdam was right. Like yeah. fuck prostitution. We were all yeah. about that that <laughs> yeah. cannabis, right? We're like, totally. well, you could just smoke a joint, you know. And <laughs> yeah. it was so crazy to us. And then it became yeah. recreational here, and people were like, yeah, but the government charges too much. Like, dude, pick your fucking battles, man. <laughs> yeah. Like it got so big, lame. You yeah, went from like w. pretty badass to so lame. Yeah, it's a big W for Canada. Like, totally. Well, well, small step here. Like let's let's figure this thing out and then let's move on to the next. But man. Yeah. You know? But yeah, know, we, I... we had an old episode planned out and uh yeah it didn't work. No smoking entirely. Yeah. So not just like uh, no smoking of any kinds. Drinking, however, on this show that we're doing. They're highly encouraged. <laughs> It, yeah, not even not a problem. They're like more drinking. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. And then Chris is like, but you know, Wes is going to be drunk then. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. They're like, we've seen his channel. We know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, the less, if he passes out early, we'll be able to, we'll be able to film some good shit finally. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, it's going to be good, man. I, I, uh, I'm not too concerned about it. I think that eventually everyone will get on board with the, with the weed thing one day. It's just, it's a matter of time. Fuck it. Who cares? Right. Right, right. It's got to be. I don't care. Yeah, it's. Gonna I mean, be fine. states are going to legalize it across the board pretty soon. I feel. Yeah, I was. I, I never. I never smoked weed until it became legal in Canada. I did the video on it. Right. I yeah. never even tried it before that. And I even never doing it. I was just like, yeah, I don't care. Fucking make it legal. Go for it. Like, yeah, it, it makes it's no not. Difference. It's not taboo here. Really, really yeah. isn't. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I believe in the states too. It isn't really taboo. But I remember a yeah. time it was. Yeah. I remember that time where it really was taboo, where you'd be afraid, like if somebody lit up a joint in public, even in an alley or something, and you smelt it, you were like, oh man, <laughs> shit's going down. You know what I mean? Like it, it was yeah, such yeah. a big deal. Oh, for sure. And now it's just like, it's, it's so not a big deal that people are complaining about like their right to smoke weed now. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. It used to be such a big deal smoking weed, and then we finally got it. And people now are just like, 
yeah, but, you know, the government's controlling our supply and, like... Dude. The things people complain about, man, I'm like, gee, widen your scope. There's so many other problems in the world. Like, go Dude. fuck your hat. Like, this is crazy. Fuck the internet, really, when you think about yeah. it. Eh? Did it ruin everything? Obviously, yeah. obviously very yeah. grateful for having a career on the internet, but also fuck the internet. Like, I mean, yeah, it, it's just like cancel culture. You got that going on, which, yeah. you know, is fucking weird as well. Yeah, um, everything has its place where it's like super valuable. And then anything after that, it's like it dissolves into horseshit. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's someone so tweeted good for something this, eight then, years ooh. ago, yeah. you know, in a drunken stupor, and yeah. all of a sudden we have license to literally hang them or burn them alive. Yeah, you know, on a social platform. Like well, they, you know what I mean? Like we can Jim roast Jeffries. them all you want online. Like literally, you can yeah. kill yourself. You could. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like fuck, dude. Where, where when do we come to this? You know, obviously, if somebody tweets that shit every day. Yeah. You know, and has like this crazy outlook on life and is like psychotic on his platform every day or consistently. Yeah. You know, shut them down, cancel them. Yeah. But for the most part, all the cancel culture shit I've seen, it's like the yeah. one tweet. I know. Years I, ago. Never... And, and yeah, I'm not condoning the tweet, but Jesus Christ, give somebody a chance to change. Like, what is this culture we live in where we yeah. fucking expect someone to be consistently perfect throughout their entire yeah. lives even before the internet we yeah. expect that perfection and then if they don't have it we don't give them a chance yeah we shut them down we fucking shun them from society outcast them literally exile them from yeah. ever you know having a say or anything they have to be perfect i think it's so fucking stupid man people just yeah that kevin gun. That Kevin Hart one was the biggest one. Like, well, not the biggest one, but it's like the most obvious one for me where they're like, yeah. but when he's going to host the Oscars, and they're like, what about this? When you said homophobic stuff years ago and it's everything. And it's like, I remember watching like, like that special, that some jokes. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. But I remember way back when the special came out yeah. that he was like making these jokes and stuff. And back then I even was like, I was like, eh, not for me. Right. But, yeah. but back then it wasn't so it, politically comedi charged. Comedians are always pushing the line. And then the line moves over time. You can't go back and retroactively be like, well, that was over the line. It's like, That's it true. was sort of different, right? So, but it's weird. Cause like, again, how does that person feel today? Right? Like, and give, I, I give don't know. Give them a chance just, to change. People change for fuck's sakes. You should. I'm, if you're not, if you're not changing, then you're not fucking growing at all as a human. Get, go yo, fuck dude, yourself. I'm not the same person I was last week, let alone the same person I was 10, 20 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Like that's a yeah. totally different person. It's not even yeah. closely related to me. Yeah, man, it's crazy. And I, you know, I'm not saying that to try and like, you know, back up. As I did some crazy shit. I don't know if I did some crazy shit. Probably said some stupid shit, like oh, everybody sure. on this freaking planet. But thank goodness Twitter wasn't around. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Because like, yeah. so many people. I mean, just because you don't say it on Twitter doesn't mean people don't say it in real life either. Yeah. Like that's that's the other thing. It's like you have to be completely fucking perfect all the fucking time. You need to speak up. You need to have an opinion, and your opinion has to be flawless. Was that yeah. I watched that tweet? Um, forget who was by, and she uh, she did this thing on Jimmy Kimmel, uh, actress comedian. She was so spot on. She's like, you know, even that speech, um, a small one, small step for man. Right. You know, it took days to write, and even then, he left out women. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like, that's right, such right. a great point. It's like being well, and, perfect, and I, and, and, and I think. And, I think he. F I think that that one got flubbed too because it was supposed to be one small step for a man, but th yeah. that it it cut out. So it's one small step for man, which makes it seem like. But, yeah. went, but it was just like the the delay and the sketchiness of the recording. Right. But it's supposed right. to be for a man because he's trying to talk oh, about himself. Yeah. And one giant step for mankind, but then it's like still it sounds so patriarchy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Terrible. it does. Fucking horrible, I'm, man. That's you know that's the fucking cancel culture 2.0. I can't wait till they cancel cancel culture. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Like I'm fucking like. Oh, cancel with, the right people for sure. And, yeah. If yeah. someone's, you know, and that's obviously I understand that that's subjective. Like, who do you totally. think is of the right person to cancel? Sure. But I think we fucking know. Yeah, canceling Harvey Weinstein. That's an easy one. Yeah. Like here we go. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Cancel yeah. Jeffrey. Epstein. Somebody already did that. But yeah. cancel. <laughs> you know, fucking people who literally. Who it's clear as day that they hate for no reason, or they hate for yeah. the wrong reasons, or yeah. But you know, somebody who's doing good right now, perhaps is 
you know, living a good life, maybe has a family, you know, he's, he's donating to charity, he or she is donating to charities, they're working with the homeless, like all these things, all that can be snubbed by misplaced, right. by, by something that isn't funny, that, yes. that they thought was going to be funny. Because let's face it, Twitter, all it was was a fucking bathroom wall yeah. before. And people just posted like whatever you'd write on a fucking bathroom stall, you know, anonymously yeah. kind of. And then, yeah, we're, I mean, that's, that shit well, just... Well, I mean, it, and it depends on who you are. Like, if, if for some reason, if you're the president, you can say whatever you want and not get canceled, right? Even though he said yeah. crazy shit. Yeah, right? I heard a lot like, of cancel, like, he sh like, the right? shit he so, said. So, like, I don't know. Where's the, where's the fucking... Grab him uh, by the pussy. Like, I just yeah. grab him by the pussy. Well, even the other he day... Said, he fuck. Who says that? He said that? And even we're just the other like... Day. Yeah, but he also colluded with Russia. Fuck that shit, dude. He yeah. literally said he could just grab any girl's pussy because yeah. he's rich and powerful. He, dude, even the other day he was making fun of the pandemic and he was calling it the Kung Flu. Yeah. Like, so racist. Yeah, I went mean, from China what? virus to Kung Flu. Yeah, um, it's like, come on, man. Like, yeah. regardless of that, like, I mean, just the fact that, like, had anybody else been caught on audio... Saying, saying oh, grab by the just, pussy. I could just, I could just get whoever I want. Just grab him by the pussy because you're so powerful or some shit. It's like man, yeah. too just many trips now. to Epstein's island. Yeah, it yeah. went to your head. You know what I mean? You can't just do that to anybody. Apparently, yeah. you can do that to the girls over at Epstein Island. You know, because <laughs> yeah. I guess they drug them all out or something out there. But like, you can't do that shit in the real world. No, you're fucking sicko. <laughs> can't wait till those names oh. come out though. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, Ghislaine, yeah. Ghislaine Maxwell. Yeah. Dude, did you watch that Andrew Schultz thing? Uh, oh, you know, yeah. Uh, turn your phone just, around? Yeah, I just started it, but I didn't finish it because I thought I knew everything he was going to say. Was it good? That guy's a fucking genius. Yeah, man. He so is good. a genius. He I got to really watch is. it then. Yeah, he's yeah, got, I, um, got some hot takes on on that whole thing. But it's just like those in-between quips. Those yeah. small little, you know. Little just little jabs. Like, yeah, little, yeah. Little simple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great, man. Andrew Schultz, you guys should check him out. He's fucking oh, buddy. hilarious. He's fucking greatest. I, yeah, he's, I like how he's building his shit, too. It's very organic. Like, there's nothing handed to that guy. He, like, consistently puts out fucking great stuff. It's Always on the smart. edge. Always yeah. fringe. You know, pushing the border of, yeah. you know, of, of what's allowed to be said, which I think is, is great for comedy. Yeah, he's one of those guys too that like he doesn't try and do it all himself. He includes his friends and probably gives them shit too, and makes and makes them rich also, and and uh, gives them cars and stuff and whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I got a perfect Tesla parking spot, and I got no Tesla to put in there. Let's go, Chris. You need Sell some more first merch and get a, get what your boys some Teslas. The hell do you even need a car for? I don't. Yeah, I mean, I live in the city, so I could. You I live in an ant colony. <clears throat> You could literally just hop on someone else's back on the way to work and no one would notice. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's that fair. Yeah, I was at my dad's place uh, back in Vancouver there, outside Vancouver. It's like a little farm. And, you know, he has a few acres. It's a nice little spot. But he was explaining, like, we're talking about the difference of the pandemic. This is back when it first started. And I'm like, Dad, you don't understand. On Literally, it's him and his wife they live on this little, little, you know, farm. And I'm like, in a lot this big where I live, there's six or 7,000 people live there. <laughs> and he couldn't get his head around that. And I'm like, yeah, man, it's dense there, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, and that, that's what my life is. Yeah, like, even on your street, man. Oh, my God. I'm getting called by someone else. Get out of here, Lucas. All right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wild, man. So, anyways, I, I don't... Uh, yeah, this part of my life is the only time ever I've been like, yeah, I don't really like living in an apartment in the city yeah. right now. If it's not good. There's but a overall, there's a bit of a lag right now going on with their phone call. Oh, really? Yeah. Like big time. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's like your words are coming up before your mouth is moving, so I don't know if it's like it's No, that's how I make. talk. That's how I do it. <laughs> that's how I do it. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to fix it. All right. Let's uh let's let's call back and stop the tape and start it again. We're at twenty five uh, minutes anyways. All right, that sounds good. Could you imagine running out of the building with six thousand other people? <laughs> yeah. No, actually. I mean that's that's 
I told you that the other night, though. Instinctively, it's the reason I don't want to live in the city. Is like it, I feel like deep within me, I fear pandemics. Yeah. I've watched too many zombie movies. Yeah. Too much, too many fucking you know, fucking Romero movies here where I'm just like. Yeah, you're not wrong, man. It's gonna be fucking weird when that all. I mean, it'll zombies be great are coming. for the They're person. Coming. It'll be great for the person who gets to uh, Costco first. You know, right. that'll be great for him. Or, you know, the person that, like, holds up, like, a hunting store and, like, builds, you know, his shelter there. Yeah. That, it'll be great for that. Everybody, it's going to be shit for everyone else. We're just going to be fodder. Yeah. It's going to be food. Yeah. This is literally, like, if you if you live where I live and the zombies come, just go off your balcony because there's, you're yeah. not, you're not going to make it out. You're just going to get bit. You're not going to make it out. You're going to end up on the roof. Yeah. And then try and hold the door shut with a thousand zombies coming through. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's going to be a helicopter coming to save you. You won't make it. Yeah. You won't make that jump. I got a, um, I got a rope, though. I got rope. I can climb down. I got enough rope to reach the ground in my apartment. I've been thinking, yeah, Chris. How thick is that, how thick's that rope? It's, a, it's climbing so rope. It's legitimate climbing rope. I'm going to be all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And then what? Once you're, once you're down there. Yeah, then, on ground zero. Then I, I got about a seven or eight day hike to your house. And <laughs> uh, it'll be good. I, I tell you, like, I, I live surrounded by old people. So it's like, I can't wait till the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Because uh, I'm going to be Negan up in that, up in that place. You know, uh, you know Negan? Do you watch The Walking Dead? Yeah, of course. So, man. Yeah. So Negan, like, he held it down. He's like, you work for me or I kill you. Yeah, is that why you have right. that? You have that bat wrapped in barbed wire already. I've seen it. Yeah, I got machetes yeah. sharpened yeah. at the ready. Yeah, and just like picture myself in a one wheel going down the street with my machete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll work good. Um, yeah, and then you know, tell all the old people to give me their treadmills mm -hmm. and their jennies and their generators. Mm -hmm. what so that? plug in all the uh, plug in all the treadmills into the generators. And have them 24 hour running around my house. So I'll, I'll put them around my house so that the zombies. Okay. Sure, uh, and they'll be falling over the treadmill and just trying to get to me. You think I that's feel like that's not as good as a fence? Or better than a fence? They, you don't know what kind of zombies are going to be, actually. That's, right. the, that's the other thing, right? Yeah. It, it, there's, there's so many. There's like Shaun of the Dead zombies. Yeah. The slow walking soft-headed yeah because they do rot over time that's the hope that's the hope right so like it's like they get so soft you can just throw bread at their head and cave their skull in yeah and then there's fucking 28 days later yeah the most oh terrifying. that was a great one fuck i love that show that made me like i was like don't do that yeah it's like that's not <laughs> yeah it's not zombies that's not, that's not fun <laughs> at all that's terrifying when that came out we were like no 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 no, no. <laughs> yeah. it's not gonna be like yeah. that and then looking back at it you're like that's probably the closest yeah that's actually what would be uh i'm gonna watch that again gonna, you just reminded me to watch that again that's so good yeah there's there's gonna be no like eh, they're gonna be mad cow disease yeah <sighs> I remember one chasing you in a field, like hundreds of them, like running faster than they've ever ran, and you're just like, "What the?" F the one scene yeah. of that that really always haunts me too is the guy like looks up somewhere and like a drop of something like lands in his eye, and I'm like, yeah. "Oh shit!" Like that. Yeah. That's so easy. That can happen. I'm gonna find Woody Harrelson. If I learn anything from Zombie Land, I'm gonna find him and buddy up with Woody Harrelson, and I'll be. Zombieland. I'll find Bill Murray. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's true. He's playing playing around a golf. That was great. Love that, dude. I've I've. Never I think died. I've seen, like, every zombie movie ever. I, I love zombie movies. Shaun of the Dead was one of my favorites, though. Yeah, for sure. That's good. I didn't see that until probably a couple years ago, actually. As crazy as that sounds. So it's so good. good. So good. I we, think they're coming up with a sequel, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I heard that, too. I heard that, too. I missed a lot of good shit. Like, I never even saw, like, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure back in the day. Like, I've seen and it now. Bogus Journey? Yeah, Bogus or whatever. Journey? Yeah, I never saw any of I missed some weird stuff. It's bizarre. Nah, dude, I, I was raised on Bill and Ted. Yeah. Like, I watched that hundreds of times over. I had strange dreams about You're it. You're an old man. Could... You're three years older than me, so. Yeah, yeah. That could be the difference right there. Three years older, eight, nine inches taller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what you had dreams about it? Yeah, I mean, like, like you know, when you have a nightmare, you, you know, when you have like a fever, yeah, you have like a feverish nightmare. Yeah, I remember distinctly having feverish nightmares about Bill and Ted when you know they play basketball against death. Yeah, 
you know, and she'll, and yeah. the birthday party where he's in hell yeah. and there's that birthday party. I just have these images and like, I remember having this, yeah, it's just Weird. like, fuck my childhood up, but I love it. Oh, fair enough. They're making a, they're making a sequel to that too. Yeah. It's gonna be good. To Bill and Ted, yeah. I think, I think you just so. said that. I think you're on repeat now. Oh no, that was Shaun no, of the we're, Dead. No, that was Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> I think you have Alzheimer's. But uh, <laughs> we were, yeah, I mean, great for, great for Ted. Yeah. Or was it Bill? I don't know. Might have been Bill. Great for Bill. Great for great for the other guy that isn't Keanu. Yeah, whoever's not Keanu, yeah. <laughs> What's he been doing for the last fucking 30 years? Probably, I bet you can live on those other checks, though. It doesn't matter. Just riding the wave? Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Oh, man. Keanu's a weird-looking dude. When we were talking the other day about it was almost going to be like Will Smith instead of Keanu in Matrix or something. Yeah, Will Smith turned down the Matrix to do Wild West. Thank God. <laughs> Ugh. All, but also, yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, it's super funny. Because he thought, like, I mean, picture Will Smith in his head. Yeah, he's he's pitched this script, right, opposite Morpheus, and like <laughs> this this given you know the pills, and like it's a reality, and it's like this big trilogy, and like yeah, it's just so far off the fucking wall. Yeah, like there's nothing that compares to that. Yeah, right. So I mean, if you were to come up to me and said. Hey, we got a story where some guy um, grabs these ancient mosquitoes, takes the blood from them, and 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 recreates dinosaurs and like makes a theme park. I'm like, I can get behind that idea. Yeah. I'm like, I understand that pretty quickly. I'm like, yeah. oh shit, that's gonna be an epic movie. Yeah. But then like, so right, reality <laughs> isn't really reality. Okay. Yeah. And then you're plugged in. But there's people that aren't plugged in, but they can plug themselves in, and then there's going to be like this this one that like he's going to bend a spoon with his mind because like I just be and there's like these two twins with the dreadlocks, and they're they're like, and then there's you know like yeah. this big white room where you can have you can do everything you the can learn kung fu real quick. And it's like <laughs> I just be like yeah man, good luck with that. I'm gonna go do Wild Wild West. There's steampunk. Yeah. There's yeah. And, and westerns, like there's that western thing that's always paid off. Everyone knows that's gonna be good. And he just came off Men in Black. Yeah, which was he never thought Men in Black would have you know be a hit like it was. Sure. So he just came off Men in Black. You know the song we all know. He made you know he's fucking on an uptick on his career. And then uh, I never actually disliked wild west i know it gets a lot of flack but i remember watching it i watched once, it and liked and it, it a like, lot i've watched it several times yeah. like I, back when it came out i was like yeah i'm a fan so i'm into this yeah and you get to see that i don't remember her name but you get to see her bum for a second <laughs> and stuff and was it Selma like, Hayek? yeah and i was like i was in i was in was it Selma Hayek? no i don't think so i don't think so it was somebody else oh well i remember yeah. seeing Selma Hayek's bum somewhere <laughs> yeah yeah just right there i'm seeing Selma it right Hayek now look great i'm seeing it now I'm still seeing it yeah <laughs> I've seen pictures of like, it's crazy how old we've gotten so fast. Cause like, yeah, I remember Liv, Liv Tyler. Yeah, oh yeah, Taylor, Tyler, Liv Tyler, yeah, Liv Tyler, yeah, yeah, so hot. Yeah, Dream Crush. Yeah, Armageddon. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, and crazy. Yeah, and Ben Affleck. You know, by 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 Aerosmith. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, a hundred percent. That was all right. Dude, with with uh, she was just Alicia Silverstone in that video, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're both smoking hotties. And, you know, back then it was like Catherine Zeta-Jones. You had like yeah. all these like incredibly beautiful actresses. They're still beautiful today, but I saw pictures of them recently. I'm like, damn, they're old. Yeah. Like, that you... means I'm old. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like I saw a picture of them and oh. instinctively I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. You fuck. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as you're like, no, oh, oh, that's me. Yeah. That's me now. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll never age as well as they did, by yeah. the way. Well, this is a, yeah. the key factor to like, I'm glad when I was like 23, I got super fat because I can always look at that and uh, be like, well, I look better now, you know? <laughs> so if now. you're, if you're in your early twenties, get real fat right now, get big. And then that way <laughs> you, you won't can regret slim it. it down and you can be like, look how fucking ugly I was then. You, yeah, go yeah. for it. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just like grew a beard and I was like, God, I was ugly without a beard. Yeah, that's true. So you just got to make so a big much change. better looking. So much better looking when half my face was covered with hair. <laughs> Yeah, I got so much better looking. I wish I wish I could grow longer hair just to cover the top half of my face as well. Dude, don't worry. Your eyebrows, your eyebrows are coming up enough to take care of that. 
<laughs> I know they are actually. They're getting pretty sometimes long. Sometimes I wonder if you can't even see your own eyebrows because they are out of control some days. I do sometimes, but I kind of feel like because you know I'm from German descent, right? So I feel like I've got like the uh, here. Let me get a close up for you guys. I've got like the mad scientist <laughs> eyebrows sometimes. Yeah, totally. Like look at that. Oh man. Like those are they don't look long, but like look at this. I'm gonna find a go great to comparison to throw next to your face on this one. All right here, here. <laughs> Oh, so like I, I'm trying to grow them out, and so they come up to here like I look some fuck like some anime sensei or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's I what that's what bald guys should do. Just comb your eyebrows back and over. Call it a day. I don't know. These, by the way, are the back of the coupons that were given away for the first five of them. Five of them, five random ones. There's the back of them. I'll show West the front of them. Kind of cool. Oh, that's awesome, man! So these are these are going to be given away to five random orders. It's like the first they get they get they get a that test is cool. out cool V four brick box, kind of like Willy Wonka. Yeah, that's great. The golden ticket. Fucking yeah. awesome! Yeah, that's really yeah, good. One had those made. He printed them out. He did them all. Genius! I love it. And you're uh, you're going to be sold out of first merch soon. That'll be good. We're already sold out of a bunch of it. Yeah, I mean that's crazy. I'm glad I stole um, a shirt when I did. Did you really? Remember, I was over there. I just put on a shirt. Oh, you kept took, it. Yeah. I know Eric stole one. He left it here. I was like, "Why?" He's like, "It's all dirty." I was like, "Fuck it, bring it home to wash it." Because <laughs> he's like, "You he never send me a shirt." I'm like, "You took one." He's like, "I left it there because it was dirty." I was like, "That's what shirts do. They get dirty. <laughs> you, you, get, you don't just expect me to give you a new one if it gets <laughs> dirty, idiot." I kept mine. I like it. Uh, I kept that in the hat. I took it. I'm like, I'm taking this. That's all good. I've honestly like, I've got probably seven of like the white ones yeah just like in my closet and i just like rotate through them because i i don't know i feel like i want to look like a ups worker yeah man it's it work it suits you it reminds you of your humble beginnings that's right <laughs> dude i wish i worked for ups are you kidding me the fuck <laughs> never got that type of opportunity in my life oh yeah <laughs> back then i thought you meant now i thought that's a weird weird choice but, oh yeah. dude that would have been a i would have loved that yeah that would have been pretty mailman sweet. That's a cushy ass job. No, but you don't want to get a job too good back then, or else you you might stay. You know, so probably it's better. You know, you don't want too cushy, because I, then you're just like, well, I'm going to be this guy now because it's good. I wouldn't know any better though. It'd be fine. That's true, but that almost happened to me, man. That's why I was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. You almost got too comfortable. I, and I almost had a good life. I almost had vacation. Oh, you got a paychecks. raise, right? You got yeah. you got like a raise, and then that's yeah. the day you quit. Yeah. They're like, yeah, oh, promotion. And I'm like, ah, I'm good. You're so fucking ass backwards to everyone in the world. Dude, oh, I hilarious. know. That's hilarious. Like, if somebody gets a raise at a job they're good at and that they can do, the last thing you do is, fuck. I'm going to go be a magician now. The guy's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you saying? Did you say magician? It's like, you're already drunk. <laughs> yeah. Here's another raise. <laughs> I don't regret it. I mean, in some days, right? But it was a construction, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a yeah, it was, and it was a government gig too, right? So it was like wow. everything was secure, pension, all that. But um, yeah, wrote that is it. scary. Yeah, plugging in, uh, I could be hooking up uh, fire hydrants right now and be making that good. And this other thing, you know, that came with like a bunch of paid holidays. I've never had a paid holiday, right? When I take time yeah. off, it's just like, oh, there you go. So yeah. it's, I mean, you know how it is. It's, it gets like that, but I'm, I'm okay with the choice now, but I bet a lot of people are asking me, a lot of like magicians we know and stuff that will ask me for advice. I'm like, don't take this advice, man. It might go very the other way for you. It might go the other way. Like it, I, uh, yeah. Like don't listen to me. I don't fucking yeah, know. I had a nice cushy job too. Um, I was making like 70 grand a year, Canadian, mind you, but yeah. 70 grand was great. twice as much as I've ever made previously. That is perfect. The, the, the most I made before that was like maybe 35 grand. So it was like yeah. literally twice what I've ever made. In 70K uh, in, in Canada year. is like is like that middle class where you just don't have to really think everything's paid and you can yeah. afford to go here and there. No big deal. Yeah, you don't have to think about money when you're not working. Exactly. You're kind of just okay. Yeah. You know, um, Especially, you know, especially if you're living with someone that also makes, you know, 40 to 70K. Like, yeah. you guys are cushy. Um, but, yeah, I was, uh, I don't know, man. The anxiety that I felt every single day yeah, of just, like, the I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to go to sleep because I knew I had to wake up and go to work. <laughs> and I was working. And at that point, at that That's point, great. I was working for myself. Like, they were in Germany. My bosses were in Germany. I had to report every week, you know, so I'd spin up some bullshit 
obviously. Yeah. Because, like, I just fucking spend the week at home, right? <laughs> Sometimes I just, like, didn't want to leave the house. And so I was like, uh, yeah, this week was tough. I met with so-and-so and so-and-so, you know, and they're German. They're not going to check in on source you. check my shit. Oh, man, that's um, great. But that, like, started weighing on me, like, oh, my God, they're going to... F- I'm fucking... I'm going to... Uh, like, all this stress about, like not actually doing the work and then doing the work and getting no results and them expecting more results. And like, I was just like, this is too much for me, man. I cannot. And, and it's crazy because I worked so hard to get that job. Right. I worked, dude, I, I worked at a tiling warehouse to like, I moved up to sales, moved up to being a rep, installed tiles to understand the products and then got picked up by, you know, the cement company, this mortar company in Germany crazy that uh you know so i worked my way up started from the bottom now you made it to the middle (laughs) it made it to the middle (laughs) uh but like that was fucking mind-blowing for me and then to get there and to have that ultimate realization that chasing fucking paper does not matter if you hate your job totally it it just doesn't like i even today i would say i give me half of that pay yeah and let me just do something I moderate, like I like, yeah. and I'd be happy with. Let alone something I, I do, something I love for free. But let me let me do something I like for half the pay, yeah. Instead of something I hate for twice the pay, like I would take that in a heartbeat. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, and it's so obvious that you would like. I mean, you probably made a couple hundred YouTube videos for nothing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you'll do stuff you yeah, love like for nothing. Yeah, I made like three hundred videos before I started paying off. Yeah, so like you'll do stuff you love for nothing. That just goes. That's when people like when I talk about like doing. Uh, they're like, oh, I love my job. I'm like, do you? Because uh, I go out three times a week and do my job for seven minutes at a comedy club for nothing. Three times a week. Yeah. Do you ever go to your job for nothing? How much yeah. do you really love it? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's true. It's interesting, but it, I mean. My dad's one of those guys who've been in the same company 40 years, and he genuinely is like, oh, I like it. And he yeah. doesn't, like, love it, but he likes it enough where he's like, He's yeah, good at it. I'm good at it, and it pays, and I just, he's like, I like it. And if you can get hit that sweet yeah. spot, where, yeah. then, man, it's good. Because, I mean, I've never felt the stress I feel since, like, I'm doing, doing what I love. Then the stress followed with that, too, right? Like, you got to, mm. right? So there's a trade-off, right? I'm so Dude, stressed. Dude, I felt, I felt more stressed before. Did you? I felt different, yeah. different stress, but like now I feel like, oh, I got to make it happen. I got to figure it out. Yeah, I was way more stressed um, perf- trying to, yeah, trying to chase someone else's dream mm. and then not living up to the standards that they expected of me. Yeah. And not being true to myself, being like, I fucking hate this and I hate your dream. I hate your vision. You know, yeah. this, this whole company's shit. Like, I. Okay. And, and yeah. So I had to get up and, and fucking vouch for that company. Like that stress, like ate me up, dude. Yeah, we had different. Yeah. We had we had, we were in different positions for sure there. Cause I I can yeah. see that for you. That makes sense. Yeah, we were literally like raping the earth of its fucking resources. Yeesh. You know, for for like making you know mortar and cement and all this, right? So I mean, the bosses and everything were nice. They were all nice to me, but like, you know, that's just like it weighed down on me. Like, oh yeah. man, I'm I'm part of the machine. It's just grinding away at the fucking earth, and like I'm. Uh, I have to like convince people to to buy it. Like it's so fucking weird, man. Buy yeah. It. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. I, oh, for sure. It's you know, all I've part done of a lot it. Of, I've worked every job. Like I, I, you know, no one ever is gonna tell me, you don't know what it's like to work. I'm like, dude, yeah. you know, I'm I'm 36. You know, YouTube started popping off for me at like 30, maybe 32. 32 more like it, man. Cause 30. I don't you even know? think I knew you at 30, maybe, and you yeah. were. So it must have been 32, 33, somewhere so like, there. So like, you know, 32. 32. Yeah, 32. So so when you think about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I started working at 15. Yeah. That's, That's you know, r- 15 years of, of labor, literally labor. I didn't go to college, barely finished high school. You this, know what I mean? This is something so I, I, didn't get, I didn't get good jobs. I, that's something I tell, I, I, I think Alex needs to hear, you know, our, our good buddy, right? I, like, I know you watch yeah. this, so I'm telling him right now. I'm talking to everybody, I'm talking to Alex. Alex, you should try working one day, man. Like we got a pretty sweet kick right now. That's one thing. He's the only one of us that never had a real job, right? Dude, and it, you honest. need to have jobs you hate for a while to realize what you love. You know, I think so many, so many jobs I couldn't stand. Yeah. And like the thought of like, you know, changing used tampons in fucking women's bathrooms at a at a at an outdoor water park. You know. Yeah. Like well, you, I know you did long. that. I know you did that for free. But like, what job at did you hate? Six, at sixteen, basically for free. Hey, <laughs> she. It'll take you an hour to do these 40 bathrooms. Here's $6.50. <laughs> F- 
you know, you want to change yeah. a garbage bag full of tampons for six fifty oh. minus tax? Be my guest, dude. I'll pay you double. <laughs> you know, like no matter how much you give me today, yeah. and not because I make money, just on principle. Yeah. I'm like, Ew. Yeah. F- and f- but somebody's got to do it. You know. Yeah, I guess. And so. that's why. That's why they get the kids to do it. Yeah. That's why they get them young because they don't know what work is. Yeah. Like, oh, work. I do. I scrape turkey shit one summer. I fucking. I washed out spice barrels at a spice factory. Not fun. Yeah. That Not fun. Awful. Yeah. For late for pennies, man. Fucking. You know. <laughs> I I I I uh, I just realized that I don't know who's up for the fucking vibrator race. Oh shit! Uh, I have the ra- I have a race ready, but I forgot to grab names because we're not doing the f- uh, the whoever's first and second on guessing it right. We're just gonna do whoever gets it right, like you know what I mean. Just pick randomly from people who get it right because it's way more fun. Yeah, I I agree with that too because you have the same. Well, cause some people are just guys, on it because like, they're they're yeah they're right on it, which is you know not to say you can't win again, but I'm just saying like it's fun to just yeah. get some new people in the game here. So um. The lie was, uh, sorry to switch things here, but I know we have to restart again in a minute, so I want to get, get through the, the vibrator race. But um, I don't know, uh, what was the lie? Was Eric, his biggest fear is being blind? Was that it? No, he locked himself out of his computer. Yeah. He locked himself out of his computer for a year. Like, it's not, obviously he yeah. would do that, but he didn't do it. But he could, yeah. for sure, that's not, definitely not passed. Yeah. Um, Oh, this is crazy. That's true. You know what? I can't. <laughs> I can't figure out who it is. So we're gonna run the race, and I'll just <laughs> put it in post. I'll just put it in post. All right. So, I'm sorry. I just. I can't. I love. No, don't be sorry, dude. It's your yeah. podcast. Do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Uh, whatever. So um, you'll see it in post. But here is, here's the race at least. And uh, yeah, here we go. And we they're go. off. All right, go. Oh my God, all right, Pink is up front. Pink is way, he's he's at least a dick and a half length. Maybe two, depending on your dick length. Oh, but Purple comes over. Oh my God, Pur- oh my God. Purple's taking the lead, but Pink is coming back. It's head to head, neck to neck. All the way to the end. Oh my God. And Purple takes it, last second. Oh, that was, that was an intense race. That's a close one. They went back and forth. I, I even think they switched positions at one point. Buddy. Like, he overtook him and, and, and got into his lane. I guess it's the best. It's the best. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I feel like one day we should have, like, a mega race of, like, six of them. Yeah. Oh, let's build a big course and do a bunch. That'd be great. Yeah. Next well, time like, curves. Around. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, t- it takes 15 I mean, minutes to get it all done. <laughs> just. Yeah. <laughs> just, hey, man. This is your job now. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, like humble beginnings to <laughs> race and vibrators. figuring out the the most efficient way of racing vibrators. Yeah. I mean, I think dude, blessed. Dude, you know? winning hard. I love it. I uh right. yeah, well, congratulations got- to the winner. And I'm going to throw down a two yeah. choose one lie and then we're going to see you again next week because uh, you know, I'm so glad the fire alarm thing stopped. Um yeah, so uh yeah, to the winner, I'm going to pin you. Sorry I didn't say your name. I uh, just been, it's been two weeks. Uh, all right, so two truths, one lie. I even uh, wrote them down because I was thinking this time. All right, here we go. Uh, one time got to go with Chris to meet Chris Rock. I once trained as a circus performer for two years. And I once said no to being in a Mr. Beast video. Two truths, one lie. Figure it out. Those are so good. They're good. They're good. You're gonna have trouble with this one. Sorry to say. That's those, that's a great one, Flash. Yeah. Thanks, man. They're all unbelievable. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, I'm happy to start the next video and explain each one of these. It's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely, man. All right. All right, boys. Thanks for coming out to Bob. I'll see you guys soon. Chris, good to see you, buddy. Likewise, man. Take care, boys. Buy some first merch. Down in the barrel, there's a naked man, a stupid drunk with a bottle in his hands. <laughs>